Hello everyone, I'm Marvin Plackett and today is Thursday, December 2nd. Sure hope you're doing well. Greetings to all residents, to all staff, and to all guests. I haven't seen you since uh, last week, just before Thanksgiving. Sure hope you had a rich Thanksgiving with family and friends. When we last talked, when I last did this presentation, uh, I had not yet heard of the word Omicron. You hadn't either. And now we all know that word, the latest variant. And incidentally, Omicron is the 15th letter of the Greek alphabet, just in case you didn't know that. Now, um, as we know, this latest variant, and it now is in Minnesota, it was um, in the news this morning that uh, the first case in Minnesota was discovered. We don't yet know, the scientists don't yet know how contagious it is, how it's going to uh, defend itself against the vaccines that we've all had. Um, and so and basically how effective our vaccines are and then how effective are our vaccines at preventing severe illness uh, with this new variant. So basically there are a lot of unknowns and we are watching every single day for the latest news on what the scientists are say, saying about Omicron. And I'm sure you are doing the same thing. So we're gonna be learning together in terms of whether or not it's gonna have any impact on our community or not. It would sure be wonderful if, like the Delta variant, Delta variant, yes, more contagious, but we were still able to live essentially normal lives. I sure hope the same will be for Omicron. We will see. We're going to just learn along the way together, all right? Um, right now, we have three COVID cases. They are all staff, and uh, one of those cases is about to be resolved very soon. All three are minor, my, very minor symptoms. Um, so we know that those staff will be come, will experience full recovery and be back with us soon. Um, but it does remind us that we are all still vulnerable to getting COVID. Um, obviously, our risk is greatly reduced since getting vaccinated, but the risk is still there. <clears throat> um, as we know, all staff are vaccinated and almost all residents are vaccinated. So there can be the occasional breakthrough case. Um, so in light of that, these are things we want to remember that um, if you are exposed, remember, get tested. If you know that you've been exposed to someone uh, for 15 minutes or longer, you need to get tested. If you have any symptoms whatsoever, isolate yourself and get tested. Uh, remember when you're going about uh, to your different destinations, wear your mask, very important. Once you are in the dining room or in the pub, you're able to, or the activity that you're participating in, uh, you're able to then take your mask off, unless you're told that that activity, like I think right now in the chapel, I think they're still wearing their masks. So in any case, wear your masks, unless otherwise uh, you're able to take it off for eating or drinking, that kind of thing, okay? Very important. Remember, there are no visitation restrictions. So even though we have three active cases at this time, no visitation restrictions at our skilled care facilities or in our independent or assisted living. So visitors are welcome, all right? Uh, that is it for now. Sure good to see you again. I look forward to seeing you in a week. Take care, be safe, bye-bye.